I'm aware that I die a lot, game. You don't have to rub it in. All right, we got lights out, which is another color gem, which might be something that I'm able to get besides one color gem. This is one of the nighttime levels with a fancy Aku Aku. And you can't be you can't become invincible in this level because the way Aku Aku works in this level, since he's your nightlight, more or less. There's only a total of 15 boxes. Well, that ruined my flow. No! Shit. I can kind of make it out. Really? Thank God that this isn't as dark as it was on the PS1, because I can kind of make it out without Aku Aku. Aku Aku still just makes it really easy, comparatively. Oh, I can't... Okay. I can't even get the gem here because I need uh, the purple gem. Or the... Not the purple gem. This is the purple gem. I... Whatever that color was. So it wouldn't have mattered. I at least still didn't die, but... It wouldn't have mattered. I would I would have needed the uh, green gem. Do I have the green gem? No, I don't. Yeah, because that was Lost City. So I can't show that exploit either. Eh. I'd have to go back and do it, but I'd rather do that. I'd rather try to get the color gems off screen and, and not waste more time with this Let's Play. Point is to get to the end of the game, and you don't need 100% to do that. Spidey. Well, though I have one more uh, color gem than I thought, I have two. Basically, this is the second ruins level. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed the aesthetic. And I think it's the level with the most boxes, or close to the most boxes, because it's got 112. Bounds off your big bubbly butt, Mr. Spider. Moving a little bit fast there, guys. Little pillars. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I do have the blue gem so I can get the gem here. I'm invincible. You know, it doesn't really matter on this path.
I don't think there's another box there or not. Because I ran into a common problem, even when doing trying to do 100% uh, when I had the PS4 version, that this level I would always miss a box, and I can't recall why. But hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't think you skip any boxes by doing that. Oh god. I, I forgot that this is a reverse effect. Yeah. Jumpy, jumpy. Oh, god damn it. I need to die. You'll see why in a second. That's why. Want to go for the gold? In this case, go for the gem. No, oh, God. I couldn't... I, I couldn't remember if that was just a single line or if there were going to be holes, but I think it's a single line. Now it doesn't matter if I spin the snake. Okay, it was, yep, single line. All the single lines. And the cortex level. Hey, wait, how'd that get me? I'm confused. How'd that get me? Bazooka. All right, come on. Thank you. There we are. I think I would have already had the key to begin with, but that wasn't the main thing I was going for. I was going for the boxes. I don't show you collecting the key, though. to find out if there's anything back there. So, purposely dying. Nope. Uh, dying was pointless. 
It was just a double check, though. I always check off, like, off screen, because they did that trick at the very beginning of the game where they hit a box off screen. So. I, that's kind of funny that the ton of thing is right next to the end. I prefer not being blown up. Come on, this happens every time. What box did I... What box did I miss? I got it all in the two bonus rounds. So it's gonna be somewhere in the level, but... Oh, oh my god, I don't... Uh, I want to say I don't care, but clearly I do. I missed one box. God. Ah. Why? What box? Is, is there a box at the beginning that I missed or something? Alright, castle machinery. Yeah, I need the green gem in order to show the thing. It's not necessary for the actual regular gem, though. I'm a dum dum. If, if you had a slide jump, you could probably make it to the exit since you see the exit right there. But that maneuver didn't exist yet. Pipes. I think they go from a level that was 112 to only 27. I do like levels like this, though, where you can see other parts of the level as... You can see other parts of the level as you go by. And there are parts of the level that you'll eventually go to. I enjoy that kind of thing, kind of aesthetic. Like, uh, I think Klonoa on the PS1 was the most well-known back in this era to have something like that where you can see the background of a level, and it's also part of the, part of the level. Okay. Anyway, that you would go to uh, later on, or you get curious enough to find your way there. Well, this has a similar concept to that. It's still linear level, and you you'll go there definitely. And Klonoa was also linear, but. I think there were paths that you could miss, because you could do, I think, multiple paths. Oh my god, really? I'm bad at just talking and platforming. Yeah, notice, it's one of the main reasons why I got the blue gem. Because I actually started concentrating and not talking that much. Shocker, I know. I 
I pretty sure I went over this in like the first episode, but I like I said before, I disagree that Crash is insane trilogy is the Dark Souls of platformers. It's not. A lot of these mistakes are my own stupidity, so they're not hard for being hard. Or hard for the sake of being hard. They're just, uh... They are difficult. I'm not going to say that they are super easy. Ding. Like, each level gradually gets more difficult. But, um... I'm taking forever to actually hash out this thought, but it's not Dark Souls level of difficulty. It's 90s level of difficulty. You know, the old difficulty that we had in video games before people became quite accustomed to being handheld. Their hands being holded, helded, held. Words hard. Concentrate. Words still hard. Anyway. get the gem, I just need to get to the end. Really? How far back am I? A decent amount. Okay. See me in here. Get it? Cause Steam. And this game's on Steam. Har har. I am the greatest. Thank you. I think up next is Embryo. Got a lot, got eleven gems.